Alright everyone, I'm back. This is Shinto Should I Know. I'm dealing with part 3. Uh, just the basic explanation of the game. Yes, it's been about 45 minutes uh, prior to this one, alright? Uh, I've already gone through the basic gameplay, gone through that. There is a variation of each character, up to three variations, alright? The skins does not matter uh, in this one, it's just it's for a cool effect look. You gain different abilities. Um, super moves, uh, combos, etc., etc. But you do have your basic moves. It's like a little add-on thing, okay? I've gone through in the first two everything from Tanya, Kung Jin, Goro. Explain a little bit about Tremor. He's coming soon. Quan Chi, Jacqueline Briggs, Casey Cage, Raiden, Devora, Takeda, Melina, Ferator, Reptile, Sub Zero, Koto Khan, Ermac, and a fan favorite, Scorpion. Uh, real quick, I said in the last one about Gold Scorpion, Scorpion. right here. Uh, there's actually a Sub Zero version. Uh, also, um, I think it's called Cold Steel. Okay, let's go back to. Oh, uh, let's go here to Katana, Princess of Edenia, uh, adoptive daughter of Shao Kahn. Okay, uh, real quick, go through her different outfits. <coughs> that one's definitely different. I don't remember that one from any of the other games. I kind of like this one. This one has more of a, a Arabian look to it. Very fits the character, but we'll do with the original one. Okay, let's just go with there. Royal Storm gains fan NATO bounce back and square boost. And like she's got a little thing on her head that is glowing. Looks like cho uh, glowing chopsticks. This one, she gets her mask back. Assassin gains the ability to strike. Parasite. I haven't. I've only played as Katana, like. A couple of times because I needed to for a challenge. <sighs> and then Morn's full. Unique uh, gains unique special abilities of Jade's glaive and staff. Yeah, um, if you haven't played the last game, Jade actually died. So and Jade was uh, her bodyguard slash best friend. So right here, yep. There's a lot of characters that actually died in the last one. Oh, uh, they're going to explain a little bit more of that in story mode, which I have not, um, I played through story mode, but I'll play through it again. I'm not going to spoil anything, but that's the only character. I'm hoping eventually you get some things so I can do like the other Mortal Kombat game and go backwards. Uh, just a real quick reference, uh, you know, Mortal Kombat, the previous game, was basically a, um, what I would call a soft reboot, meaning the fact is, it is a reboot, but it's also kind of like a, uh, a reboot redo. Uh, it ends actually. It starts at the beginning of Armageddon, and then raiding from that future goes back to the, uh, sends a message to his past self, and that's why we get the alternate timeline. So this is basically an alternate timeline version. Um, all right, another favorite. I'm okay with him to an extent. Liu Kang, champion of Mortal Kombat. Here's his look for this one. Here's his classic look. Originally, he was uh, the model for the person who did the motion for him in the original game was Ho Sun Pak, a uh, very good martial artist. Um, he actually did like Raiden, also Scorpion Sub Zero. I mean, he did a uh, Shang Tsung. Uh, he was like their main mo uh, person who did the movers for the original. And I've got like a ten minutes left. I need to quit talking. Okay, we'll just do this one. Fire Fist gains the ability uh, Dragon Parry, Windmill Punch, and Challenge Flame. As you can see in the bottom, kind of a little bit like Bruce Lee. Dragon Fire gains Empowered Dragon Fire Balls and Flying Kick. And his face changes just a little bit, if you can tell. It's kind of hard with this. But And the last one, his headband changes. Duelists can switch between light and dark forms to heal or harm. Okay, that is definitely different. Aaron Black, new character, uses a gun, first time ever in Mortal Kombat. I'm kidding. Alright. And Outcast look. I'll go with the Outcast look. Uh, no. That one was Aaron good. Black. Okay. Gains your unique abilities, Savage, Tap. Oh, okay. So the back is a Takata Arm Blade. Okay, and a gun. Weird. Gains standoff stance and multiple trick shots. He's just a revolver user. I fought him a couple of times. He's not bad. And shotgun. Unique special is long range rifle. Oh, marksman. My bad. I don't know why. Must be the rifleman. Chuck Connors is the rifleman from Outworld. Okay. 
Now I get to some other fan favorites real quick. Sonya Blade. Yes, Sonya is back. Real quick, check our different outfits that I have. So I got Sonya Blade, Major Sonya Blade, and MK1 Sonya Blade. Which really looks out of place in this one. Or we'll go with this one, Spec Ox, in my opinion. Sonya okay. Blade. Demolition games, explosive and destructive great grenades, and eh, that one's okay. I've played as her a little bit. This one covered out scan the Garrett Parrot and Military Stance. Have not played as that version of her yet. Uh special forces can call drones in. Drones! Yay. In other words, you're gonna have uh she, she's not gonna fight. <laughs> uh <clears throat> I have to try that one out later. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go to her. Uh... I'm sorry, that's just funny. Every time I see him, we'll go ahead and go to Jax first. Carl Weathers version. All right, if you got something who Carl Weathers is, that's from Halo. I should like yes. that look. It actually fits. Okay, heavy weapon gains a rocket launcher and submachine gun, as you can see on his back. Pump gains and. Is there like any difference? Okay, like the arm color changes just a little bit, not much. Gains enhanced ground pound and inactive grab. Gains molt wrestler. Gains multi cylinder right now. See that one just works very well. Nothing against the other version. Yes. Might see a little bit of variation difference on this one. I like the American flag on his right bicep. Yeah, there it is. Now you can see it. Okay. I haven't played as Jets yet. Alright, let's go with another... Everyone's favorite person to hate, Kano. <laughs> from Australia. <laughs> I like that look. I like that rugged old look for him. <laughs> Alright. Cutthroat gains damage and knife attack and power up move. As you can tell, it's a little chest piece changes. He actually had the biggest change from Mortal Kombat 1 to 3. Cybernetic gains multiple eye lasers and grenades. Yeah, I fought against that. That's a cheap little. Ugh. Haven't fought against the Commando version yet. Yeah, but that one, man, he will get you in combos left and right. You just need to make sure not to let up on him. All right, I'm going to go off with probably one of my favorite characters, Johnny Cage. Uh, fight Jason on hard. I don't know who Happy Grim is, guys. I'm just doing a podcast right now. Uh, I'll do it one, uh, one a day. Just leave me a message. Um... Oh, happy! Oh, okay, tell me to fight Jason on hard. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm still getting used to this. Uh, and I, yeah, I should do that. I'll have a podcast where I should all fight Jason on hard. Um, so, I, in fact, I'll probably do that tomorrow. I'll come on and say fighting Jason on hard. Uh, but I'm just doing an introduction right now. Um... And I got I got another game I got to go through. Uh, start writing up what I'm gonna go through on it. But yes, I I will do that. Uh, Happy Grim 15. Uh, I will put on there a fight Jason on hard, which I have not. Actually, no, I've actually fought him once before. But yes, I will do that. Uh, and you can request a character if you want me to fight him as. Then go for it. Uh, Johnny Cage regular look, Commando look. All right. Uh, different ones. Stunt double, which he gets like a little aura where he can send out like two like two little clones to do maneuvers, like his shadow kick and his little rising uppercut. Uh, fisticuffs, basically, he gets a couple little actual. Uh, yeah, I'll. Uh, uh, Happy Grim, I'll I'll do that tomorrow, around. Um, I'm trying to think when I get up because I might shift tonight. I'll do that around. Uh, Probably around three o'clock, three o'clock Central Time. I'll come on and I'll do that. Uh, and since that, that's a request, I'm probably gonna get my butt kicked. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, 
but keep in mind everybody also I'll have a link on here onto my YouTube page where everything will go to my YouTube page also um, <clears throat> okay uh, getting back to what I was going to do because I only got a couple more minutes left of this podcast uh, and then I'm done for the day uh, Fisticus right here I've played as him a little bit everybody it's it's hard to figure out I prefer the A-list you can charge his flash kick as well as his sh uh, shadow kick uh, Johnny Cage just probably has some of the cleanest martial arts moves on here so far uh, just the fluidity of motion in them, that's just me. And now to get to the last four characters. Uh, Kung Lao. First introduced in the second game. No extra skins yet. Haven't played as him yet. Buzzsaw Blade, which you can kind of tell it becomes more like a buzzsaw. Uh, that's just... Mm, I, I can't think of that, how that's going to hurt. Gains ability, hat grinder, special attack, tempest, this little nice little glow aura. Gains an orbiting hat shield for offense and defense. Huh. That's interesting. Last one. Place hat in traps and... Yeah, ooh. I bet that can lead some very horrible combos. Shinnok first introduced in Mortal Kombat 4 or also Mythologies, uh, Sub-Zero Mythologies. He was the old guy at the very end. Uh, downloadable content is the Samurai look. Actually, looks really, really good. Okay, let's uh, get on to him. Uh, Bone Sharpener summons various deadly skeleton weapons. Haven't fought against that yet. Imposter gains the ability to steal the opponent's special attacks. Played as, against that one a little bit, as you can tell, the little color change. Necromancer, probably the one you're going to fight up against the most. He gets like bone like arms from his elbows down. Uh, that's just a pain in the butt maneuver. Um, that's usually the one you're going to fight against in arcade mode. All right, last one. Uh, last two. Two movie uh, icons put in. Predator. Which actually does fit. And he's only got one more. Okay. Hunter gains med kit and snag. Have not, oh, med kit. Have not uh, fought against that one yet. Um, gains Jakita strike, dread slam, and I've so Not fought that one yet. That's usually the one I fight against. Gains plasma shot and plasma caster. Uh, I will sit there and say this about Predator. He likes to grab and slice and dice you a lot. He's very just every time I've fought him, he's always grabbed me. <sighs> Last character for the introduction part, and I'm gonna take a break. I gotta go do some training. Jason Voorhees. Now, introducing the last Mortal Kombat game, they had Freddy Cougar in it, uh, which I really enjoyed playing as Freddy. I thought was uh, he actually fits the persona. I don't know in the next one if they're gonna put uh, either Leatherface or. Oh crap, Michael Myers. I kind of hope not. I won't mind seeing both Freddy and Jason in it. You can do Freddy versus Jason again. Jason Voorhees. Uh, Gains Pursuit and Late Mist Ability. Have not fought against that one yet. Slap. I like how the mask changes though. Gains Bloodshed, Machete Toss, and Psycho Slash. I have not fought against that one yet either. So I can't say anything about them yet. Gains Punishment, Rise, and Resurrection. I fought against that one. That one sucks because I actually kind of had that like what the crap look the first time uh, he rose back up. And of course, didn't help with my dad right behind me and sitting there and uh, saying comments afterwards. Let's get the little chain. Hmm. That's all the characters for the game, everybody. Uh, I'll run through the game. I'll have commentary one time, then I'll do a co oh, one without commentary. And I'll have it on there, caption commentary, no commentary. Uh, real quick, I do have a YouTube channel. It's the same name, Shinto Shodanu. It's got various things on there from upcoming projects I have doing. I'm also a cosplayer. I also have a production company called Strong Pass Productions. We are shooting commercial in about two weeks for a contest. Um, so feel free to look at on that, and you might see some links to some other people's uh, sites to all. Uh, our Strong Path production page as well as, well as some other uh, people's YouTube pages or cosplay pages. Thank you again. Th yeah, this is part three of the explanation of Mortal Kombat X. I will be doing tomorrow by the request of Happy Grim 15. Uh, 
fight Jason Voorhees on hard. And that's 3 p.m. Central Time Zone. I live in Alabama, so if you can't tell from the accent, so that'd be 3 p.m. Central Time Zone. I'll be fighting Jason on hard. Uh, and when I fight, if anybody wants any char uh, half character you want me to fight him as. If so, just leave me a message and I will I will fight as that character. Alright, and that ends this broadcast.